Hello everyone, welcome to your very own YouTube channel, Dr. Nikita's Rad Synapse. And I am Dr. Nikita Ihor, your educator, mentor and friend. So in our today's video, we are going to discuss some important and amazing mnemonics and cheat codes to remember the various signs in aortic regurgitation. The very purpose of me putting up this video is because I've been getting multiple requests from our fellow members on our Telegram group. And let me tell you that we are planning a revision program for NEET PG starting 11th September, where we would be giving you daily targets for revision. It's the first revision cycle is planned for 50 days and we are planning both integrated system wise revision as well as subject wise. So do join the telegram group and stay tuned to know more about this revision program if you are one of those who are not able to make a timetable and stick to it. So let's start with our amazing cheat codes to remember aortic regurgitation. I assure you that if you stay till the end, you will learn some mnemonics which are very good to remember the signs in aortic regurgitation and you would surprise everyone by having the signs on the tip of your tongue. And if you like this video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, juniors, colleagues who might benefit out of this and do leave me a comment if you want me to cover any other topic in the upcoming videos and you want me to simplify it with some amazing cheat codes. So let's start with our cheat codes for aortic regurgitation signs. So this is the first sign that I'm showing you. What we see here is this is the carotid artery where we see the bounding pulse. So we all know that this is the carotid artery which is dancing. So this is known as the dancing carotid. So what sign is it called as? So this is called as the Corrigan's sign. This is called as the Corrigan's sign. Now to remember this, it's very easy. Corrigan's and carotid. Corrigan's and carotid, look at the spelling, they are so similar. So yes, the first cheat code is here. Corrigan's sign is dancing carotid. Now we can see this bounding pulses in the peripheral pulses as well. So that is called as the water hammer pulse. So like the toy which we see here water hammer it goes up and it comes down. It goes up and it comes down. So this is known as the water hammer pulse which rises also very up fast and it comes down also very fast. So basically the concept behind these signs of all the signs that we see in aortic regurgitation is uh, we have the increased stroke volume coming from the left hand ventricle and then because of the regurgitation it is going back into the left ventricle so it rises also high and it comes back also very soon. So that is the basis of all the signs. Now let us see the next sign. So now because the pattern of the exam has changed in the recent FMJ exam also we have seen the pattern has been more of clinical questions, so much image based questions and now AIMS also gives you GIF based and video based questions. So that is why there are chances that you might get questions like this where they show you the video and they ask you what sign is this. So that is why to equip you all with this signs with the videos, I put up this video which you can see here. Now this is the pulsation of the uvula that we see. So what sign is it called as? Come on, write it down in the comments. What do you think? What sign is it? So yes, absolutely right. This is the Muller's sign. This is the Muller's sign. So my task does not end here to tell you that this is called as Muller's sign. To remember that it is the pulsation of the uvula. How do we remember when you say Muller's? Okay, M-U. M-U is mu. That is basically U. So Muller's or mu is your uvula. So Muller's sign is pulsations of the uvula. Now next one, look at the video. Look at this video. What do we see here? You can see that the pupil, look at the concentrate on the pupil. It is constricting, it is dilating, it is constricting, it is dilating. So it is basically in sync with the cardiac cycle. So what sign is it called as the pupillary change in pupillary sign, size? That is called as the Landolfi sign. That is called as the Landolfi sign. How do we remember Landolfi? So when you say Landolfi, Landolfi, it's the pupil is like a dot in the eye. The pupil is like a dot. So you can write Landolfi, basically doll is dot. So pupil is like a dot. So that is the Landolfi sign. I hope all of you are enjoying this cheat codes. Do let me know in the comments. It really keeps me motivated as well, right? So let's see the next cheat code. 
Now, if you get a video like this with the arrow on the nail bed, as you see here, and you see the ultim the pulsations of the capillaries in the nail bed, then it is called as what sign? Then it is called as the quinky sign. That is called as the quinky sign. So how do we remember the quinky sign? So when someone tells you do it quickly, right? So do it quickly. That means chutki se fatafat karo. That is, you know, you are using your fingers. That is the nail beds. So quinky is quickly. So that is why it is the nail bed pulsations that you are seeing. That's the quinky sign. Now the next one is the lighthouse sign. Lighthouse sign, right? I did not get any video uh, to show you the lighthouse sign, how actually does it look? But yes, I have the cheat code to share with you that what is lighthouse. So as you can see, lighthouse would be the light basically at the top. So it would be light at the top. So how do we remember lighthouse? Where exactly at the top? So yes, you see the light, you see the light coming from the forehead. We have the center of light in the forehead. If you believe in spirituality, then you must know it for sure that that is the center of the light in the middle of the forehead. So that is the lighthouse sign. That's the lighthouse sign. I think someone who had labeled this sign was also a spiritual person to call it a lighthouse sign in the forehead. Now the next one that we would be seeing is what we see here, the blood pressure being measured in the popliteal artery and in the brachial artery, basically in the lower limb and the upper limb. So what we see here is you will have the systolic blood pressure in the popliteal artery more than the brachial artery or the upper limb. So this sign is called as the Hill's sign. Hill's sign. So very easy to remember. Hill as double L, that is the lower limb. So the double L of Hill helps you to remember that the lower limb pressure is more than the upper limb pressure. That is the Hill sign. So this was about a part one. So we have seen out of 12 to 15 signs, we have seen six and I'm sure you have loved it. Do let me know how did you find the street codes. Let's have a quick one minute summary of the six signs that we have seen. So the first one is the Corrigan's pulse. Corrigan's, the dancing carotid in the periphery called as the Watson's water hammer pulse. Then we have the Muller's sign. Now what is the Muller's sign? Muller's sign is your uvula, right? So uvula, Muller's, M-U, Mu is uh, Muller's sign. Then you have the nail bed. Nail bed, we said doing it quickly. So that is called as the quinky sign. Then we have the Lendolfis is the dot. So that is the change in the pupillary size, the change in the pupillary size. Then we have, then we have the hill sign, hill sign, LL, lower limb. So the popliteal artery pressure is more than the brachial by at least 20 millimeters of mercury. And that is the systolic blood pressure. Then we have the lighthouse sign, lighthouse, the center of the forehead. So you will see the pulsations, the alternate, you know, flushing and paleness in the forehead. So that's the lighthouse sign. So I hope all of you have enjoyed these cheat codes. As I said, do let me know in the comments which other topics do you want me to cover. This is part one. I'll quickly come up with part two as well. Goodbye till then. I'll see you in my next video. Keep studying, keep revising and keep winning.